Sometimes it's necessary to get a lot more production information when you're looking at a particular part to figure out what's going on with it. Statistics are great, but a lot of times it's nice to view the information more specific to the part. And this, with PyWeb Monitor, what we can do is we can view reports that have been cr previously created that are very specific to a particular part. In this example, what we're doing is we're looking at production information of the flatness of the top of a cylinder block. What we can do is interact completely with the data on the screen. In our last production run, this is representing the last 100 parts, any point of interest we can actually take a look at and figure out that this particular characteristic was out of tolerance, and then we can point and see what incremental part number or serial number this is represented by, and then what we can do is further select this information to view the flatness plot of that particular serial number. So in this particular example, we're going to be looking up the serial number, and the serial number was 352. Then we will hit update. And then we'll get the new flatness plot that was represented by that particular serial number. And all of this information is also going to be available to be manipulated in our flatness plot. So we can simply click on a point and figure out what the deviation was for that particular part at that particular point in time. What we can also do is get a, a graphical representation of different information such as a perpendicularity callout in this case. So if I would like to look at a different amount of runs, let's say for example the last 250, our trend chart will show us the last 250 runs and then I can see that I had one actual result that was out of tolerance. So I can click on this result and again I can figure out which actual part number this was and then we can go ahead and view this information to see what the picture actually looked like at that point in time. So we'll select the incremental part number We'll update our results, and then we'll get a view or a picture of that particular production information at that point in time. Part stories are also great for process analysis. In this example, we're going to open up a report that is dedicated to a particular production part. We're going to update our results for this particular report, and we'll see a few different views that we can take a look at. First is our summary of our last, um, last measurement run. And then we can also see the results of the true positions from our last particular run as well. Specifically, we can see that one of our true position results is out of tolerance. So if we'd like to further investigate this particular data point, we can go and click on Process Analysis and see that we actually have quite a few of the last results that are actually out of tolerance. So what we can do is use our variable information to sort and, and figure out why this actually is. Particularly what we can do is we can we were recording at the time of production what machining center these parts were coming off of. So if we select one by one and then update our results, we can further investigate which results were coming off of this particular machining center. And we can see that the last out of the last 50 parts that were ran, none of the results that were out of tolerance were due to this machining center. So we can also sort by a different one in this case. We'll update our results and we can see that the trend is due to this machining center. More specifically, if we search for more recent runs, we can see that the trend is all due to the last 10 runs from this particular machining center. And we can use PyWeb to calculate the tool offsets based off of our search criteria for this particular result. We can also use a part story to actually gather and analyze form data as well. If we want to take a look at, for example, a curve plot, and see what the results were at a different point in time, we can go select our measurement information, our measurement selection button, select a different result at a different point in time, click update, and then we'll see that we have the updated scan data from that particular measurement. Now this information is not only um, pictures of the information, it, it also is interactive elements as well. So we can click on any one of our scan data points, figure out the deviation at that point in time. And then if we would like to print this information out, we can just pin this to our report, click print, and this will be represented in a PDF. We can also look at particular CAD information. For example, if we look at this information back in time, we can see that we have a result that was out of tolerance. 
We can take a look at all the information that was recorded at the time of the run, figure out that it was serial number 43, type this into our search, refine search criteria, click update, and then we'll see at this particular runout, this plane actually does have an angle to it. So this tool allows you to visually see back in time about what was wrong with the part. And then again, with our part stories, we'll also be able to include production information such as statistics and other information.